So I have a very special truck behind me. This is a 68C10, but this is no ordinary hay hauler. Uh, this is 725 horsepower LS3 supercharged by Magnuson. It produces a ton of power and it is a pleasure to drive. We have done a lot of custom mods on this truck. So there's a lot of things that are happening on the body itself. The truck, as you can see, is lowered approximately about three, three and a half inches uh, from the ground. And that's thanks to um, our full frame chassis that we put under this truck. So the original chassis is gone and now we have a full frame running under the car. Uh, we've got 18s and uh, 20s in the back. So we've got really big wheels. But the truck itself is so huge that, you know, those big wheels also look tiny, especially when you have a lowered stance. Looking on the body itself, there's a lot of massaging. So you can notice pretty much quickly that there's no front bumper. And this whole uh, bumper, it has been created out of sheet metal to give it the look of having a bumper. Up front, we've also cleaned up uh, this grill area. So you've removed from there the slats and uh, done it in bare metal. So just to, uh, you know, enhance those body lines further. Coming up to, to the side, there's not much in terms of there other than the general de-chroming that happens. But we've changed the mirrors. We have a dummy gas cap over here, but this is just for show. The actual gas cap is back there in the boot area. Um, and then we've extended these fenders as well and given it a side exhaust from from the back so it, it looks really nice there as well then we have the original lights are all gone so we have these uh, slats and we have these long tail lights all led as well so it looks very very nice as well and a general color combination of blue with the white roof really sets it apart so the interior there's a lot of custom mods on on, on the truck this whole dash panel has been extended um, and uh, this uh, whole panel has been brought in further. So we have the lights panel and the dash pad panel. They have been uh, made to look the same. Of course, when we wanted to add the AC vents, then we had to reposition all of these. These are generally much more closer together. So we have to push them to, to the outside. So there's a lot of work that's gone into just that dash panel. Um, and then we have these beautiful billet AC vents that have been positioned into it as if they came originally like that, but that's not the way they were. Uh, that, that's, the steering is also custom. Uh, one of uh, billet piece that has been done in the same white as the roof section uh, to give it that white on blue sort of look that the whole truck has. Um, and then still ret retain the bench seat, but we have done... Um, a lot of things on the bench seat itself in terms of the design is completely different on the bed seat. By the way, these uh, door cars, they're in metal and this is how they came on the original truck as well. So that's that's all basically a metal door card and that's how it came in the 68. So we kept that. Couple of things that we made is we've added door handles, um, different door handles to the side of it, uh, but pretty much the same. You can notice that this has power windows. So that's another change up there so this is the heart of it 725 horsepower ls3 crate motor that churns out all this horsepower and it's it's a handful to drive this truck because it's really lightweight and to have that sort of horsepower it's really nice when you are um, on the red light next to a fast car nobody would imagine that a, a truck could do this sort of number what this does so an amazing, amazing build and it was a pleasure doing this car. We have some more exciting upcoming builds. Please follow and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all of those beautiful cars that are going to be coming your way in the future. Hit the bell icon and give us a like.